You know that moment when you're a few miles into a run, your lungs are pounding, your heart is beating, your legs feel like lead, and you're thinking, oh, why have I ever gone out for this run in the first place? If only there was a way to transition out of this, to suddenly become light, to feel easy, and actually even to make it feel euphoric. That is the runner's high. And if you can stay with me to the end of this video, I'm gonna teach you my process to achieve this feeling consistently on every run. Now, I'm not just talking about some good indoor orphans and a bit of a buzz, I'm talking about a flood of serotonin, of dopamine, where it feels like you've literally got tingles running through your whole body. Hi, I'm James. I'm a sport nutritionist by trade, and the vast majority of my content on YouTube is teaching sport nutrition to runners. However, I've been very fortunate in that I've had a lot of runner's highs in my running experience, whether that was from day six on the Dragon's Back ultramarathon, where I was running through a farmer's field, and obviously legs and everything was really hurting but then suddenly no pain and just this flood of good vibes right through to any normal training run where I'm just putting my trainers on and out the door but because I follow this process I know that at some point on that run I'm going to have this absolute pleasure moment that is what I'm going to teach you so before we dive into the process let's quickly detail what is a runner's high a runner's high is a feeling it's a big powerful feeling and really it's more than just the release of endorphin which are your body's natural painkillers this feeling is a combination of those endorphins colliding with a massive release of serotonin and dopamine. Now these are the neurotransmitters in your brain that are for happiness and reward. So this combination results in this massive euphoric feeling making the running feel effortless, easy and light. For me this feels like someone has switched on a shower inside my body and I literally get this flood of tingles that starts at the top of my head and goes right the way through to the soles of my feet. Hey I love it. Now you might be thinking wow this sounds quite intense James and to be fair it is but it's amazing and it is 100% achievable when you follow this process. So why are you not feeling it? Let's quickly talk about why so many runners miss out on this amazing feeling. Here are my three big mistakes. Mistake number one is just waiting for it to happen. Unfortunately, it's very unlikely that you'll just stumble across a runner's high, especially as intense as the one that I've experienced. Now, surveys show that actually achieving a runner's high is very rare, with most runners not really getting it. This is something that I want to change and share this feeling with you. Mistake number two is overthinking. You you can't think your way into a runner's high or create one on pure willpower alone. In fact, the opposite is true. You need to lay the path and let your body do the rest. The runner's high is a subconscious state, so thinking about it on a conscious level simply isn't going to help. Mistake number three is distraction. Now this may be the conversation that you're having with a running partner, it may be your watch buzzing at you with your heart rate or running splits, it may be the fact that you're running somewhere new and you've got to actually think about navigation and where you're going. Or maybe you're just really dialed into that audio book or podcast that you're listening to. We need your brain in a unique, almost meditative state where not really much is going on. The more distractions you have present, the more difficult it is gonna to be to experience your first proper runner's high. So how do we get the runner's high in every run? Here is my secret formula to make all of your runs feel incredible. Now, I do wanna put a slight caveat on this that it's taken me a little bit of time to get to the point where I can guarantee this runner's high. However, by following this formula, you are gonna be able to get to that point a lot faster. This formula consists of two elements. Firstly, factors that are going to increase your chances of experiencing the runner's high, like not doing the common mistakes, and then also triggers. Triggers are things which will act to cue or trigger your runner's high. The exact mix of these is going to be different person to person. So consider which combination of factors and triggers resonate with you. The more you manipulate these factors and then load up your triggers, increase likelihood of you having a runner's high. This might mean you want to avoid really technical terrain where your brain has to work hard. The running should just feel natural. It should feel easy, like you've actually switched off your brain and that your body is now the conductor. The first factor you need to consider is your running pace. Now you probably think that you've got to be running really fast to achieve your runner's high. But I find actually that the opposite is true. You need to be running easy. You need to be running in a way where you don't have to think to hold your pace. So actually having a slight downhill gradient will make this easier because then you can just slip into that ah cruising sort of pace. Factor two is the environment. Now you're far more likely to get a runner's high on a run where there's some sort of natural beauty. Now that might be a sunrise, it might be the light coming through the dappled leaves in the forest, or it might even be just the sound of the leaves crunching under your feet. Imagine that compared with, say, smashing it out on a treadmill. You're far more likely to get a trigger when you're out in the natural beauty of the world. 
factor three is caffeine. Now, although having caffeine is not essential to achieve a runner's high, I find it helps. And I think that might be because of the way caffeine works. Caffeine helps reduce the perceived effort of the running that you're doing. So if it makes you feel a bit easier when you're running, it kind of helps to switch the brain off a little bit so that you can get easily into that cruising pace. Triggers. Now, these are things that are gonna trigger you to fall into that runner's high. And the more of these that you can stack up on your run, the increased likelihood of you getting that runner's high. Now, these are gonna be quite personal. This is my list though. However, I'm sure I will have missed some out that may be relevant to triggering you. Music. My main trigger is music, and this is absolutely huge. It's so fantastic, for especially when you're running somewhere where there's not that much natural beauty. But just listening to the music isn't enough. You need to switch off from the running and then literally feel the music flowing through you. What music, James? Well, personally, I like to listen to some drum and bass. And the reason for that is because it's deeply tied in to some memories that I have where I'm feeling just euphoric, feeling amazing. Now, your music might not be drum and bass but it might be that first concert that you went to see live and you can remember that flood of emotion as you're chanting out the chorus. So as you're listening to that song, that song that really makes you feel deep and happy, instead of just singing along to it, I want you to switch off from the running and feel it flow through you. Get to that chorus and sing it out loud or even in your head to get that feeling as a trigger to your runner's high. Second trigger is positive self-talk. Now there's quite a lot of sports psychology in this and you'll find professional athletes using this strategy a lot. Whether they're doing it to achieve a runner's high or just perform better, questionable. However, if you're new to this, what I would recommend doing is having a really simple mantra. This is something that you can tie in with who you are or who you want to be. So I would start it off with a simple phrase, I am, X, Y, Z. Pick three adjectives that describe yourself or describe the person who you want to be. For example, if I'm running, I might be thinking, I am strong, powerful, confident. And then I can just say those words. I'll say those words and feel those words sink into me. So if I'm getting to a point where my legs are burning, my heart is pumping, I can say those words and really bring that confident, powerful runner out. Trigger three is the environment. So while you're running at this easy pace and you've got your brain half switched off, keep your eyes open for some natural beauty. Sometimes just seeing something like the sun's rays coming through the trees can be enough to trigger that natural runner's high. Now it's worth noting that you can combine these triggers to make it more powerful. So as an example here, if you've got that favorite song in your headphones, it's worth mentioning that you can combine these triggers to increase the likelihood. So if you've got that favorite song buzzing around in your head and then it's building, it's getting to the chorus, and then suddenly you look over your shoulder and you see the sunrise coming up. That's gonna be way more powerful and might be the first step to giving you that runner's high. Now, when the moment hits and you get that feeling, surf that wave, okay? I don't know how long it will last for you. It could just be one or two seconds, but it could be up to one or two minutes. So enjoy it. But remember, don't think about it too much. Just switch off and let it happen. Let this intense feeling just flood through you. Try and control your breathing as much as you can. So maybe just slow breaths that might extend extend the length of it a little bit too. So when you get this feeling, embrace it, enjoy it. Then maybe come back to this video and comment how you felt and maybe consider subscribing to my channel. Now, I want you to experience this feeling on your next run. So start planning how you're gonna stack up your triggers and manipulate your environment to be able to achieve it. But remember, try not to overthink it. Now, I want you to experience this feeling on your next run. So stack up those triggers, avoid the big mistakes and manipulate your environment and those factors as much as you can. If you're interested in some sport nutrition advice, then feel free to look through some of my other videos as you might find them informative and help you with your fueling.